checking the water is probably going to be the best idea because it's going to be a hot day. Taking a look outside this morning, you can see Tamarack Resort uh, overlooking Cascade Lake. It's a beautiful sight, right? We had lots of stars overnight, clear conditions, and that means that sun is going to be coming on up today. So we are looking at those temperatures continuing to rise here in the region. A heat advisory in effect for southern and central Idaho. We're looking at a cool down next week, but that cool down is in parentheses because it's only really going to be slightly cooler than the temperatures we're looking at for today. So that heat advisory went into effect last night. Most of our counties here in southern and central Idaho are under this effect as well as eastern Oregon. So it is going to be hot. We're going to see temperatures up to 109 here in the coming days, and we're joining many of our friends here towards the south in Nevada, Utah, Arizona and California, where they have just been dealing with that heat dome that has been bringing their temperatures to really hot levels for an extended period of time. So we're joining that party here uh, through this weekend. It is going to be pretty toasty. Let's look at those temperatures right now. They're not too bad at the moment. Go outside if you want some cooler conditions. 72 in Glens Ferry at the moment. 64 in Twin Falls. Higher elevations are also a lot cooler right now. 42 in Stanley. 58 in Fairfield. But it's all going to get hot later this afternoon and evening. And we're going to be pretty much an even playing field in terms of how hot it is. Higher elevation is going to be in the upper 80s. Low 90s today. 99 in Idaho City. And that I-84 corridor pretty much gets into the triple digits. We're looking at 107 today in Glens Ferry and tomorrow Saturday is going to be slightly hotter. 108 expected in Glens Ferry up to 106 in Boise and those higher elevations breaching into the 90s tomorrow. So some hot weather definitely on track. We're also seeing some smoky skies. We've got wildfires burning in Northern California and Southwestern Oregon as well as here in our own region. That fire near Ola has definitely been expansive and it's sending some smoke into the Boise area, even the Magic Valley early this morning, but it should be thinning out here by the afternoon and evening and we're going to get some more clear conditions. But even when we're not seeing that smoke, we're seeing that health risk with these high temperatures. So definitely something to use caution around this weekend as we have this heat advisory in effect. These temperatures are pretty dangerous. Drink plenty of water, keep those fluids going, and definitely never leave any pets or children or really anyone alone in a hot car because those cars get really hot when we get temperatures like this. So today our high temperatures around 5, 6 p.m. We're looking at 106 in Ontario. Caldwell seeing 103 up here in the West Central Mountains. You can kind of escape the heat here. If you go up to Long Valley, we're looking at 87 in Cascade, 91 in McCall, but 104 today in Riggins. So even very hot up north. East Central Mountains, also a great place to escape the heat today. We're looking at 87 degrees in Sun Valley, 89 in Stanley. We could see some cloud cover development in the afternoon and evening, maybe a possible storm, but it's going to be pretty minimal impact for this monsoonal weather today. Mostly sunny over here in the East Central Mountains. Magic Valley, also mostly sunny sunny and temperatures here. They're starting to get up there. We're looking at 100 degrees today in Gooding, 99 in Twin Falls as the high and tomorrow will be slightly hotter. We're looking at a high of 101 in the Twin Falls area tomorrow. Sunday still pretty hot, a high of 100 degrees, but we do cool down after that back into the 90s in the Magic Valley. Treasure Valley also seeing a cool down next week, relative cool down because it's still going to be pretty warm. But over the next few days, as that heat advisory is in effect, we are going to bre be breaching that triple digit mark. And just remember to stay safe out there, folks, as these hot temperatures settle in.